G'day everybody and welcome to Dog Shadow Gaming, the channel where we live to game and game to live. As always, I'm Belth and today we're looking at episode 14 in our Ungram Iron Fist Slayer King campaign. In his new starting position at Karakadron, um, and I mean that was a long time ago to be honest with you. I was just having a quick look here guys at the objectives for a short win and a long win. We'll just go for the short win because I think the series gets too long with a long win. Basically, we need to kill out Norska, Wintertooth, and Clan Mulder, which I think we can do Clan Mulder pretty quickly, and Wintertooth are already started. Um, we need to have the Big Pass, the North World's Edge Mountains, Zufbar, Rib Peaks, Northern Grey Mountains, uh, Giant Home Mountains, and the Southern Grey Mountains. So we've got most of them. We need the Giant Home Mountains, which are these ones, the, the Giant Home Mountains, which are these ones. So basically, we need to take this, and I think that means... And potentially we have to take help it but we'd have to Khazad border karag we need to take that and that will give us that one then the southern mountains are actually and i didn't know this karak norn um grimhold and karak asgaraz now our allies here phew, that'd be a pain in the bum we might i don't really want to go to war with the empire so i'm hoping we'll leave them till last and i'm hoping skarsnik will take them back and we can go and stuff skarsnik up if not, there is a mod you can do which allows you to peacefully buy settlements from other players, which would be cool. Part of it also is I need to maintain 60 units in total, current 56 of Slayers and Giant Slayers. So that's something that we're going to have to look at now that we're sorting to, sort of turning towards killing everything. Um, looking around the map, I think we've got most of our upgrades going. We're pretty much ready to slaughter anything in our path. Uh, this was our homegrown team. There really wasn't a lot endangering us here. We actually don't need this guy down here. So we don't need to go down here at all for this particular victory, which is interesting. Um, so really our fight here now is nope. in the north. Uh, we have Cracker Jack going here. We have an army set up here and doing pretty damn well we need to take out winter two um throg obviously and we need to take the hell pit as well at some stage this thing is beast though i mean it has a lot of stuff in it <laughs> uh has he got stand of secrets he hasn't got a i don't think he's got extra fortifications but i mean look at it two plague cores one warlock four clan rats two death runners four plague monk hell pit abomination three hell pit abominations three rat ogres two poison wing globideers wow but that's all right we are the dwarfs and we will come ready with the dwarf slayers and we'll come ready to slay uh now at the moment we are currently recruiting an army i think we were getting our fun army up here with all the bits and pieces the bobs and all the weird stuff that dwarves have all the high-end fun stuff and then we had a secondary army which was our Sort of sitting around looking after stuff army which we don't really need because we've kind of got that buffer there so i think you were heading up to buck up and because yes you were heading up there because there was issues there we had ungram coming up here he's got 19 with him i can't remember what it was that we these guys need to be changed into um uh iron breakers to be honest with you um slayers are looking pretty good we could probably actually change these guys into iron breakers change all four of these guys into iron breakers and then put two more slayers in we wouldn't need a long beers with great weapons but anyway anyway now uh let's have a look at our quest battles what have we got not not that quest battles have we got some quest battles surely we've got some quest battles maybe that's it have we got everything uh, one, two. Is that all the quest battles? I feel like it's not. Hmm. We got 661 gold. We should have a little look see here and see what we can weapons. Okay. Elfbane, Starbreaker. Um, Elfbane, magical attacks 20%, enables magical attacks. Melee attack plus 14 when fighting against elves. Eh, we're not really fighting elves. Weapons plus 20 when fighting against elves. Okay, so we don't need that. That's pointless. Plus 6. Weapon strength plus 18. Not bad. Attack causes discourage. Effect reduces leadership. Cool. Heroic killing blow. Plus 40 armor piercing. Plus 40. I wonder if that stacks. That would be insane. What do we need for this? Carved obsidian. Left click to zoom. 
Holy crap. All the way down there. Is that the only place we can get carved obsidian? Wow. That's got to suck some serious squig herds. That's no good. We're not going to get that. Uh, that's miles away. Okay. What about this? Uh, Iron Gate Kicker's Hammer. Melee Defense enables frostbite attacks. Chilling Aura. Iron Warden's Hammer. Perfect Vigor. Ooh, I think that would be good. Plus tail strength. Bonus versus infantry, which would also be good. So that'd be good. So let's forge that. Iron Warden's Hammer. Nice. Uh, now let's, let's go and have a look at our... Yeah, okay, cool. That's cool. I knew, I knew, I made it. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go have a look at you. Okay, so we got the Slayer's Crown. We got the Dragon Cloak. Now for the weapon. I could have sworn there was another one. Axe of Dargo. That's right. What? Uh, huh. Didn't we? The Axe of Dargo runic weapon of monstrous size is tempered with dragon blood and iron oaths of vengeance. Why can't it? This item is unique and only available to this character. So, ah, there we go. I was think, sitting there thinking, I'm pretty sure we've done them all. Firing of Thor, that gives us a fiery blast, but maybe something else. Let's go and have a look. We can put that, we can put that weapon on something else for it. Uh, so what do we need? Enchanted item. Let's have a quick look. We're going to, we're going to, it's called, it, this episode is going to be Pimp Out um, Iron Grim. Pimp Out My Iron Grim. Um, bugger, we used all that stuff. Armor, talisman, mm, enchanted item. This is the one. Right down the bottom. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, we've got enough of that. We got, uh, don't have that. I do have that. We could get that easy enough. Ability, Scepter of Stone. Causes major magical damage. Medium strike area. Strong versus a single unit. Weak versus combatant. Single combatant. Single unit. Weak versus single combatant. Mm, okay. Horn of the Ancestors summons an ancestral spirit. Summoned unit degrades over time. So that just gives you another hmm, physical. Uh, I don't know. Causes magical damage. Medium strike area. Strong versus a, a single unit. Weak versus single combatant bound within the mighty scepter is the power to move the mountain peaks themselves it's a bombardment do we need another ancestor climbing a mounting equipment on blowing on this ancient horn will summon a legendary answer back from valaya's bosom and to aid in the fight i mean it could be cool how hard is it to get stone versus pottery where's the pottery Back happen. I can build the pottery pretty easily. Let's go back. Let's go back. And okay. <laughs> well, that kind of answers that then, doesn't it? So we need to go to back happen, and then we can we can pimp him out. Uh, right. So I need you to hurry up and get better, basically. That's what I need you to do. I would like to buy this off them. It should be, you shouldn't need to mod that. That should just be part of it. All right, in the meantime, there's not a lot uh, yes. in the meantime. I don't think we, we haven't got any grudges. We've taken care of all the grudges. Enchanted items. If we can't go to there, what about this one? Speed, charge bonus, gatekeeper, 30% damage resistance. That could be nice. Unbreakable. He's already unbreakable, I'm pretty sure. He is, no, not pretty sure. He is unbreakable already. Uh, which we can make this. This one would be. Dragon Slayer Boots. Well, plus speed, charge bonus, melee. That's pretty good. Immune to psychology. He already is immune. Liquid fire replenishes hit points. Combat regeneration. And hit, hit points of combatant replenish. That's pretty good. Regeneration would be nice, but. Uh, and we can get that the same though as if we get this. So we're gonna get that. Physical resistance is awesome. Let's make this. Gatekeeper's belt. Lovely. And that's it for Thorgrim. Let's put his new trinket on. 
Beautiful. Okay, now you're looking good. Leadership plus four. Minus eight for Slayers. Cool. Scarecrow banner. Magic resistance. Good. Leadership. Cool. War banner. Leadership. Yeah. I mean, uh, to be honest, we probably don't need leadership banners that much. We've got all Slayers. But still, nevertheless, uh, we should... We really should, if he's going to be battling it out up here, is this our guy? Is this the guy we want? It does thirst for war, doesn't it? Now, let's have a look at you. You're level four. You haven't got a lot of good stuff, so we'll give you this. And, oh, Helm of Discord. Mm, missile resistance, Helm of Discord. Helm of Discord. Oh, hang on. Who's on? Who's got the Helm of Discord? Oh, one of our guys. Um, you know what, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do that because we need to... Potion of Strength. Uh, fireball ability. Firing of Thori or Fireball. Causes moderate magic damage. Yeah, we'll use this on you. Cool. What else have you got? What do you need here? The Burning Eternal Banner. That'll work. And Gleaming Pendant, we'll go with that. We come from Buildings Local Region. Yeah, I mean, why not? Because I think we've got them full on leadership when fighting against Greenskins. Don't need that. Recruitment for Artillery Units. There we go. What else have we got going on here? Untainted, definitely. Uh, for Slayers. Yeah, that one too. Okay. Our Lord up here is all set up. He's ready to go. He started, he's got his stuff going. Um, okay, I think that's about it. To do a little bit of maintenance, guys. It's getting to that time of the battles where we had to do a bit of maintenance. Now, um, if you're watching my Heinrich Kemmler videos, you will know that I've uh, I've been watching a bit of the Twitch streamers who do this, who have a lot of followers and people enjoy this stuff, and they don't uh, they don't actually press the skip thing here. They let it play out so you can sort of talk about what's happening in the battle and rah rah. So I'm going to give that a shot. If you don't like it, then please let me know in the comments below. If you'd rather just zip through it and keep on going with the campaign, then we can do that. Just let me know. Um, but this is what most people seem to like is to watch it. Um, which I'm cool with doing. It's just this end of the map is probably going to take a while. Because um, really, I mean, we're sitting next to sitting next to the Empire, and they're going to get all busy. But it does sort of give you. There's been these um, these clips now, these YouTube clips where guys have just done this. They've just auto run it, just to see what happens for like 500 turns, and just see who takes out the map because it's always sort of randomish. This is interesting. I didn't. I forgot that Thorgrim had, um, and this is probably why you do it. Thorgrim has um, consolidated with Ungrim here, which is nice. So I mean, he's not doing too badly. Skarsnik here from the Crooked Moons is a bit annoying, though, isn't he? Um. Yeah, we really need that. I kind of feel like I want to take that and move up there. I mean, I wonder if, just for shits and giggles, we we see if Ungram... He'll have Belagars in his army, which could be interesting. We could send Belagar north. Actually, we could send Belagar south with a little bit of extra support, maybe two armies, and see if we can't take Karagate Peaks with him. Complete the, the Dwarven dominance. That would be nice. See if we can take every single mountain path. That's the only one that I have to... Uh, Britannia. Potentially. There's something in me. I'm a natural good guy. I just... Uh, I'm on the side of order. I don't really want to fight the Bretonians and the, the Empire. If we don't have to. But we probably will. Oh, pushing in on the, the Wood Elves. Well, they've got the armies to do it. We've got three of them. So 
that probably wouldn't hurt. Four. Wow. These wood elves are about to get stomped. Although, the wood elves are pretty strong, especially when you fight them in Ethel Lauren. They've got a lot of buffs in there. Hmm. It's happening. Chaos is coming down. Oh, yeah, whatever. Harganeth. You will die, Harganeth. The Druki. Druki scum. Wondering what Norton's doing, sending one shadow wizard up into the grey, up into uh, the Nor. If I was that shadow wizard, I'd be crapping my pants. All right, it's taking a little bit too long, so we might just do this every, I don't know, third or something. I can understand it at the start, cause it's not too long, cause you're just dealing with those directly around you. But this is going to be like everybody everywhere. Scryer doing. I can't believe they're still alive. Come on, keep moving. There we go. Alright, that took like three minutes just to run the turn. Maybe not. Savage blows. Many conflicts are won or lost on the strength of the first vic uh, vicious charge. Men are sent flying from the battlefield, often in pieces, even before the savagery of melee begins. A well-timed charge shatters enemy morale as well as bodies and blood. Sweat may coat the victors, but victory is always painted in colours such as these. Those of at the head of a charge, seek ever greater thrills, ever more bloodshed, as the battle becomes bigger and the body count grows higher, and the trickle of blood becomes ever flowing, rivers of red. The Savage Blow. Charge bonus plus 24 armies of armies of all factions, faction wide. Okay, everybody gets bonuses for charging. Um What do we want to do here? I feel like I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Yes, display a gate. Uh, we're gonna move. Seek our doom. Yeah, because we are gonna move in here. We're gonna clean out these guys here. I can always come back at these. He's surrounded anyway, with little hope of doing anything. Uh, we can take this too, which we probably will once we've got this going. We'll start taking some of these settlements. Um, right, now you, down here, what have I got, I've got three armies going at the moment, where are ya, there you are, My axe for war. it does thirst for war, and you should definitely dip it in groby blood, uh, now, let's have a quick look at this situation, Dark are the what brings you down from your mountain hall, dwarf, uh, this, and, pay me, not that I need the money, but I just feel you should. Holy hell, let's see how far we can push him. Okay. Naturally. Naturally. Uh, what else have we got? Ostergaard. Deliver your missive and then okay, get you're all good. Yep. Sigma's will. Oh, Avalon just sitting right in the middle there. Welcome, he's just, ancient allies. He's just sitting there. In Who are you fighting? Times, dwarves. Are a fine sight to behold. Yeah, why not? Empire's blessings, yes. Okay, and I think that's pretty much everyone except Osland. Osland's being a prick, but outside of that, everybody else is pretty good. We're at war with those guys. I don't really care about those guys. We've been friends with them for a while. Everybody in the north where we're at clans, yeah, yeah, we don't need to go war to them. So, what about you guys? You have a proposal? We are willing to hear it. Empire's blessing. Beautiful. Yes. What else have we got? Celine, don't care. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Okay, so there's not much else. Where are the rest of the dwarves? It is time. He's the only other dwarves other than me. 
Where are you at? Let's have a look. Nowhere close. Nowhere close. But, how much do you love me? Oh man, you love me a lot. It's just that great power, isn't it? Treaties with Plutonia, Trespassing with Clan Angra, Treaties with Kislev. Meh. And it's growing. Yeah. Cool. So he's not going to confederate. I was just thinking if he did, it'd be fun. We could just get the campaign going down this way as well a little bit. But, One uh, doing, we'll do that. Um, not a lot we can do at this point. We're just sort of nosing on our way up there. We'll check out what the Empire is doing because they're close to us. Yeah, I mean, they're just kind of waddling around, aren't they? Let's keep moving. Who do we want to see is the question. Not really dwarves. Mm, I mean, they're orcs. Not really, not really. We just kind of want to see up our end, don't we? What's going on up there? I do kind of want to see what's going on with these guys. It's like there's not much left. They're coming down there, raiding in here. What's going to happen with Norska, with uh, Throg? What are you doing? So Norska's coming into play. Throg's rebuilding, so I'm rebuilding, he's rebuilding. Come on, hurry up. Alright, so what are you up to? No, you didn't do anything? Okay. The rest are pretty inconsequential at this point. Never really have, like, I've played the Tomb Kings a couple of times, just never been a big fan, to be honest. Not a massive fan. It's all pretty straightforward. Zip, 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 zip. Oh. I wouldn't mind seeing. I don't think they're going to do anything anyway. But. Campaign. Blah, de blah. Weapons for dwarves. Okay. So we got next one. Uh, upkeep for long beard. Speed for infantry. That was one that we wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. Speed is one we wanted. Where melee defense for rangers. Definitely want speed. Okay. Oh, you're almost ready. You're almost ready. Um, definitely going to build that there because, well, just because. Um, Throg is almost ready, so we do need to get a move on. I must fulfill my slayer oath. What have you got here? Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, what do we want here? Uh, hammers. Why not? Okay, we got our hammers. You know what we might do? Might might boot these guys and get these guys as well. Cool. Um, it is time. Onward. Oh, he's got one more turn. Don't you attack me, you dirty, dirty man. Uh, you dirty, dirty Norskins. Uh, you manling. Anyway, um, let's go check our gear out. Uh, you can go up. What have we got? 49,000. You can go up. You can go up. You can go up. Why not? Aha. Uh -huh. Now, uh, yes. 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 Hmm. 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 
Um, what to do? This one. And then... Oh, aha. Huh. We haven't done that yet, have we? No. And that one. Jeez, we spent some money this turn, haven't we, peeps? Uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good there. Looking pretty good there. There's not much else we can do. Onward. Forward. And we can kind of sit in here for now. Um, we're not too far from our lines. We've kind of left our guys open here, but I mean, we've got that much defenses. I'm not overly concerned. Um, and we're not really having problems with morale. Everything's pretty damn good. And plus two chaos corruption, plus minus three corruption. Hmm. Okay. Probably going to need. Okay, so it's looking pretty good for the most part. All right. Uh, next turn, I think. Because uh, we're going to come in here. We're going to kill this guy. I think what we're going to do also is we're going to need to... What have we got? Tactician, leadership, character's effect. Leadership 10 plus 2. 10 plus, it's a, about the same, isn't it? Tactician, tactician. Melee, grimly, we'll take you and we'll recruit you. And then I want you to yeah, recruit a couple of cheap lords. Um, three of those. Three of those. Slightly more expensive, but that's fine. They've got... Yep. And... No, I don't want to do this just yet. Yep. Just do that for now. Uh, just to give us a little bit extra there. What else have we got going on here? This one needs walls as soon as we can do it. Yeah, okay, cool. That's pretty much it, I think. Let's run it. Um, we're going we're gonna to zip through it, guys, because it just takes too long. I'm doing it in the high McKema, but we're only at, like, sort of turn... Where we sort of turn... I'm doing 45-minute episodes there, so I am trying to... Sh cut down the episodes because they're super long um i had some feedback from one of my things that was a bit long so i've been trying to cut them down sometimes it's just hard because you like you don't get a battle and you're just doing turn 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 and then the last battle it's kind of like uh uh wow that's painful um we were so close to getting it okay so we're gonna win this uh what should we put gleaming pendant leadership plus four well wow. Where should we put that on? Um, I mean, the leadership is pretty damn good. Who's got low leadership? He's got low leadership. The rest of their leadership is amazing. So we're just going to put Gleaming Pendant on them. Fire attack, spend a plus six weapon damage to plus fire. Mm, I feel like... Let's put it on these guys. So, okay. Um, save it up. And... Let's go. Let's go. So what is he got? He's got some Berserkers. He's got some Chaos Champions. He's got some Skin Wolves. Should be pretty good fight. Should be a pretty good fight. All right, let's have a quick look. Ready. As always, guys, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Um, we're about f just under 50 subscribers now, so we're really trying to work towards getting to our first 100 subscribers. That's my first goal. Um, okay, so these guys are in the front. Yes. Yeah. Oh, these are our reinforcements. Yeah, why not? Pop you across. What? Hang on. What are these guys? Borrowers. They have. 
Uh, I want you guys to go like that. Uh, what we're going to do first off, though, is we're going to pull the Slayers out. You guys sit back here for now. Uh, the clans unite. And the bum. Victory will be ours. There we go, that's a bit better. Yeah, I'm down with that. Cool. Just hits pretty much straight away. Um, feeling like we'll go here though. And we'll go on a slight hill like this. Yeah, so if we sit like that, should deal with you, and then cannons. No, we want it slightly less than that. That should deal with you. Grudge throwers. Cool. Pull back a little bit from those front lines. Perfect. Vengeance. If you want to come and get my cannons, you can. You're going to get through my slayers first. Hey, uh, we're good now. Let's start it up. Berserkers taking out as quickly as we can. Ranging target. Hmm. The clans unite. Gonna move you down here. Put you in the center. Put you up here. Pretty good. Go. Ready to serve. Move to attack. Long beard. Miners. Long beards. Strike out. We fire at you. Holy shit, what are you doing? Well, Attack the earth! He 
It is a reckoning! If they get close, not them! I had your command! Zao! Zao! Our cannons. Okay. I didn't even use any of my uh, my buffs or anything there. It's a bit sloppy. Only you'd waited a turn, we could have used all our fun toys with you. Ah, uh, alas, it was not to be. Okie dokie, take the... Oh, we don't need the gold, we'll take the leadership. Okay. Moving on, hurry up. Yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, definitely leaving the turn timer at this stage is probably too much. But that's fair enough. You're leaving, you learn. I should have thought of that myself. I can't wait. They've um, they've just re-released Steel Faith Overhaul, um, updated for the DLC for the Vampire Coast, which is cool because it was unplayable before. And um, I don't know if any of you have watched. I have two episodes of a. Um, Middle Middenheim, Boris Toddbringer campaign where I used Cyrenos' faction unlocker. Well, I was having problems with it because it was having a leak in memory. So I'd get to about, about turn 25 and it would crash completely on me, which is why there's only two episodes of it. It is fairly popular. People seem to like it. It's something a bit different for the Empire. Because when you use Steel Faith Overhaul, you get um, Ulrich as a god. And so that gives you Wolfkin and Teutonic Guard and Knight's Panther and all these other extra units that you don't get in the standard Empire campaign. And it changes all the building capacity. So it changes the way you build buildings. It makes it a lot more tactical. You can't just, you don't just spam buildings over and over again. It, it just makes things a lot different, um, which is cool. We're going to... Three more of those. Yeah, three more of those. Couple of those. Yeah, that'll do for now, I think. Um, anyway, so you can play a proper... If you use Cyrenos' Faction Unlocker with Steel Feather, you can actually have a pretty decent and good Boris Toddbringer campaign, which is pretty cool. Um, that's totally new with all new buildings and all that sort of stuff. Well, not totally new, but very new. Um, so I'm really, really keen to continue that series, and I've just been waiting. And anyway, they have, I found, they have a, a sub mod that allows you to, um, to do exactly that, to play it without the problem. So I, I really want to play that again on the channel. I was going to stream some Boris Toddbringer, um, on Twitch as well, which could be fun. Uh, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? You're just sitting down there, which is fine. You kind of... I do kind of want to do that, but at the same time, I don't want to take the big attrition hit because we've got to deal with Frog up here. So... How are you going here, mate? What do you got? Yeah, okay. Okay. Um. To die in battle. Yes, indeed. Uh, we're gonna go. Yes, my oath is intact. 
Gonna do this. Come on, man. You want some? Come get it. And now you're ready. Alright, let's do it. I know we're gonna kill them, I know that, but let's just do it for shits and giggles. <laughs> we'll use we'll try to use our new our new toys, yeah. We've Yeah, we got a couple of new toys. So let's use the new toys. Have a bit of fun. Um he's got he's got what has he got? The only thing that he can Oh, he's got a couple of javelin units, I suppose. Alright, so let's have a look at our new toys. Oh shit, we're on top of the mountain as well. This poor guy. We are attacking though, to be fair. To be fair. To be fair, to be to, to be sure, to be sure. Um I really want to use the organ gunners, so we're gonna do that. Uh we're gonna go what are we gonna do here? Let's have a look at Uh Gyrocopter Flying War Machine, Gyrocopter uh, Brimstone Gun, Gyrocopter. Uh, I'm gonna put you over here, just get you out of the way. I'm gonna put you over there. Uh, okay. Nothing else really that super duper special is there. Put the two slayers here. Uh, you two can. Can you see down from this ridge line? You can from here, which is kind of where we're gonna do it. So we're gonna just. Put you two there. For the ancestor gods. Put you two there. These guys will pop here. They can shoot down. Miners. They can shoot down. Maybe move them across a little bit. Gods. Cool. Fire at will. They'll both fire. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll put you over here. Um, I mean, yeah, we can just pop you here. It's not a big deal, is it? And then we'll throw the slayers here. Uh, now this is where the fun begins. Let's move you a little bit. Couldn't got a bit. We couldn't. We <laughs> couldn't got much better map for this, to be honest. Uh, oh, for God's sakes! There we go. Okay. Artillery could actually sit back here. And. Yeah, they can just sit there, and then let's see what the organ guns can do. Okay, let's start it. Let's send the gyrocopters down to deal with these guys. These guys to deal with these guys. In you go, gyrocopters. <laughs> oh man, that's good. A long be 
Beards are going to make short work of these guys. That was pretty good for a bit of a cinematic to finish the uh, the episode. What do you think? Our oh, organ guns did really well. Beautiful. Cool. We'll leave it at that, eh? I didn't even use my bombs. Alright guys, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it? I don't often play with a cinematic camera, um, because usually if a fight's worth fighting, that's difficult. So I don't usually do the super easy ones, I just um, skip through them. Because I think they're boring. But, if you want to, like, let me know in the comments below. If you like that kind of cinematic stuff where we get to look at the doors up close and really getting in fighting, then let me know. And, and I'll, instead of just skipping through the easy ones like this and just auto doing them, I'll do a couple more of them and we'll do more cinematic stuff where I don't have to worry too much about whether or not we're going to lose. Um, I'll try to make it more of my gameplay if you enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, then let me then just say that in the comments. Just go, no, 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 I just prefer you just to play in that. But um, if you like the cinematic stuff, then um, I'll do some more of it. Anyway, let me know in the comments how you feel. Uh, so we'll go to leadership. We don't need the cash. We did pretty well with that. For the ancestors. For the ancestors. Okay. Time for a reckoning. We march. And do, 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 do. we'll do that one. Why not? Uh, yeah, we should definitely do that. Okay, he's sitting there. For the wisdom of the layer. Attack! Oh, he's got... Very interesting. Okay. Okay, he's got... Um, he's got Lightning Strike, which is very, the very interesting. Seek death. I grow restless. Let us begin. Hmm. My axe thirsts for war. As the High King I'm sure he'll find me, but... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. That's cool. Um, uh, we've got a grudge, great book of grudges. What have we got in the grudge book? The Northern Raiders, Raiders grudge. Under Grimnir's raging sight, the chaos corrupted Ungi have raided our lands. A fell grudge indeed. Find these orc orcs and defeat them. Only then will Grimnir let such an atrocity go against them. Throg. Okay, we've got to beat Throg. All right. Okay, guys, that's it for this episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please do uh, hit that like and consider subscribing. It really does help us out. We're on our, we're on our path. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers. We're, at, we're just under 50 at the moment. So if you could help us out there. Also, check us out on Twitch at twitch uh, twitch.tv slash dogshadowgaming. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, BitChute. Minds, all at Dog Shadow Gaming. Any of those, if you're on those platforms, Twitter. If you're on them, then jump on, say hello, and uh, give us a follow to help us out with the channel. And uh, that's it. If you're feeling really generous, you can hit up a Patreon for a dollar a month and help us out for twelve bucks a year to help me keep going. 
Uh, but that's really it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next episode of Dog Shadow Gaming. And never forget, the Emperor protects. See you guys. Bye.